Hi everyone! Welcome to my technical demonstration on losing weight safely and with the lasting results. My name is Lucy Mora, I think all of you know me, and I have been a lifetime member at Weight Watchers for over 20 years. And for our demonstration today, we are going to have 10 minutes of PowerPoint presentation with important information. And then we are going to the other side of the room for some exercises. And lastly, Julie brought us some healthy snacks and she will share with us the recipe for the snacks as well. I'm going to show you a two minutes video clip with a very success uh, weight loss results, okay? Okay, losing weight safely and with a lasting result. There are more than 60% of Americans classified as overweight or obese. That is the conclusion of the federal survey that estimates that 6 in 10 Americans are overweight or 1 in 4. And the conclusion is we are eating too much and exercising too little. And research data have shown many times over and over again that keeping our weight in check is vital for our overall health. Overweight people that lost weight or those who maintain their healthy weight may reduce their, their risk of developing many serious diseases or medical conditions such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, certain types of cancer, stroke, arthritis, high cholesterol, and respiratory problems. So it's not just a matter of looking good, it's for your health as well. Well, I just said it, but why to lose weight? Again, because it's vital for your health, because it's good for your health. To keep a good health, it's important to have a good diet as well. To keep a diet rich in fresh, fresh vegetables and fruits. It will be beneficial to your health because it will lower the blood pressure, it will reduce the risk of heart disease and probably some type of cancers. Most people should aim for at least nine servings of fresh fruits and vegetables a day. You should go for a variety of colors like dark yellow, dark orange and red colors are very beneficial to your health. 
So we just saw that it's good for your health and not just that, it's good for your emotional health as well. The primary reason that make, make people think of their weight is because they want to look good. And this is certainly acceptable because the way you are outside, it makes you feel inside as well. For example, um, physical exercise stimulates brain chemicals and often leaves you with a feeling of hap happier and more relaxed than before exercising. Eating healthy diet as well as exercising will lead you to a better physique. We just saw how, why to wait and now how to lose weight. You should manage calorie intake. When it comes to maintaining a healthy weight for a lifetime, the bottom line is calories do count. No matter the forms of calories, calorie is a calorie. And balancing the number, the number of calories that you intake with the, the number of calories that you burn, your body burns, it's essential to keep your healthy weight. In our Weight Watchers weekly meeting, our um, leader, she always says, if a friend of yours gives you a very yummy chocolate cake, you should just keep a piece to enjoy that piece of cake, but you should trash the cake because it is better to go to the waste than to your waste, isn't it? Okay, managing calorie intake, but also managing the calorie outtake or exercising. You should integrate physical activity into your daily life. Something, even something simple as just walking should be integrated to your daily life. For example, when you go to do your groceries or go to the mall, don't park your car so, your car so close to the store. Park a little further so you can walk a little bit more. When you have the option between the stairs and the elevator, it's always good to go for the stairs, it's a little more exercise for you. If you can use the vacuum cleaner to clean your house, you are burning calories as well. So they are all ways for you to, on your daily life, to burn some calories. But what is the most effective way to keep your weight off? You do have to adopt a lifetime changes, permanent. If you want to lose weight, you should start by avoiding some sugar and starch. Sugar and starch may increase your hunger, and they are not good for your health anyways. An effective low-carb diet weight loss should be based on real food, like fresh fruit and vegetables. If you want to improve on something, you should improve your health, your eating habits. You should eat fresh fruits and vegetables and grains and eating more fiber in your diet as well. It may lower cholesterol and blood sugar. So you 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 you, you that's a very good way to keep your weight off. It's to change your lifestyle. And also keeping eating habits and exercise balanced. Losing weight and keeping it off will not happen unless you, you change your habits. If you lose weight and then return living the exact way you did before you lose all the weight, it will come back to you for sure. Maintaining weight loss requires long-term ch life change and patience. When you want to lose weight safely and with the lasting results, there are things that you should not do. 
And there is the saying that goes like this, he who fails to plan, plan to fail. So things that you should not go, do, for example, not planning meals. If you're going anywhere not knowing where you're coming back and what you're going to eat, you always have to have a healthy snack with you in your purse. Another habit that it's not good for you is rewarding yourself with food. Frequently rewarding yourself with chocolate and dessert, it's a sabotage on your healthy habits. One other thing that it's not good for you is to let yourself starve. If you, if you, if you, this habit to, to be many hours without meals, take with you some snack to not starve. And a good way for you to, to keep your weight off safely is to use tools to help you track your progress. If you want to improve on something, you, you need to track your progress and the behavior that caused the progress. The benefit of tracking and analyzing your thoughts and actions is to become more aware of how they will impact your goal. So in conclusion today, we learn how important it is to keep your weight in check because it is vital for your health and wellness. And to eat healthier food, will, you will need to have some changes in your daily habit. But the, benef the benefits of healthy eating habits and exercising more are for a lifetime and they are tremendous for you. Thank you.